But if the excitement here tonight is anything like it was earlier today at Ward's former high school, the fireworks we're likely to see will be for more than just an Indian's win. All right, what do we say about our newest player? <laughs> yeah! It was a homecoming fit for, well, a night. Students and staff at Nordonia High School. He grew up in my neighborhood and I just wanted to wear it to support him. Celebrating Denzel Ward getting drafted by the Browns. He took that opportunity and ran with it. And he's still running today. Rob Eckenrode has been the athletic director for 12 years and says Ward was a special kid from the start. He's a hard worker, uh, tremendous determination, a uh, very polite young man. But when he first walked onto the field, they weren't sure if football was in his future. I mean, he was only 135 pounds. And the coaches give the same amount of attention to one as the next, you know, because you don't know who's going to develop into a. And in this case, Denzel's a world-class athlete at this point. And he wasn't just a standout in football. He was a state champ in track and field as well, says his former coach. You jealous? Not at all. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Super excited for him. Couldn't happen to a better kid. Ward graduated with a Scholar Athlete Award, something Eckenrode says is a testament to his parents. They made them work for everything that they got, um, and they, they, taught, they, they taught them uh, you know, how to be, how to be a strong young men. Ward's father, Paul, was a beloved principal for Carlwood Intermediate School in Bedford. He had a heart attack and died during a spin class two years ago at only 46. Denzel's to this day is just uh, happy to know his dad's probably watching over him and, and he everything he does is probably to make his dad proud. Making his family proud and his former school where they can't wait to hang his jersey next to the other football greats who graduated here. Just a great young man, what you'd uh, truly want as a role model for the rest of the kids in this building. As a former example, as a, excuse me, an additional example of Ward's character at the Combine, he raised money by how high he could jump for the Paul G. Ward Scholarship Fund. That's in honor of his father, and it raises money for kids going to college to help defray the costs. Reporting live from a rainy progressive field, I'm Danielle Serino, Channel 3 News.